Diane and Denmark here, la, la, la. happy Monday morning. <gasps> I'm, all, I'm all excited because I'm sitting in my kitchen. You know, you haven't seen this view for a long time. Uh, for, for any of you uh, that are kind of new here, we are in lockdown here in Denmark. I never film my family. I like to give them some privacy. And as they are working from home at the moment or studying uh, online at school from, <laughs> from home, um, I'm having to, to film as I can. Anyway, I've got a few minutes here but before the, the rest of the family uh, are around, so enjoy the view. My, my sink, my sink. Anyway, I'm checking you with you uh, for a couple of reasons today and let me get right in there and say Happy Star Wars Day! <laughs> May the 4th be with you! Uh, you're going to be hearing a lot of that uh, today, I'm sure. Uh, also in Denmark, we are going to be putting um, even more candles in our windowsills tonight. I'm going to be doing that in a wee minute. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell you why we are going to be putting candles in the windowsills in Denmark tonight. Uh, but I, the main thing is I'm going to ch be checking in with you today about uh, weekly home blessing hour. And I've already started mine. Look, look, look. I've started my, uh, I've started my list. And I'm just going to quickly go through what is in my cleaning caddy, what isn't in my cleaning caddy, and how I set that up. And also... And I want to just talk for a few minutes about, you know, ditching that idea of having to do all the things or having to do it perfectly or uh, wanting to do all at once because we've really got to uh, ditch, ditch those ideas. And you know what I say, we just put one foot in front of the other, especially times like this where, where things may be a little crazy for you. We're, we're, we're just moving forward uh, slowly. So... For the rest of the family arrive, I am going to move somewhere else and uh, let's see what we're going to get up to. Okay, before I get into my cleaning caddy, let me just tell you about our beautiful tradition on the 4th of May. Here we go, get the lights down. Uh, Denmark was occupied during the war and when uh, news came of the German surrender on the 4th of May 1945, uh, the Danes... Uh, actually heard the news, it was a BBC radio broadcast, you know, one of those London calling things. Uh, the Danes uh, heard the news and they went out into the streets, they, they pulled down the blackout blinds, they burnt them, they had bonfires and they celebrated. Now the official liberation uh, actually came to force on, on the 5th of May, that, that's the official date that it was signed. But uh, here in Denmark, we, we've had this tradition, you know, for the, uh, this will be the 75th year of putting candles, lit candles uh, in the windowsills tonight. And, and that's what we've always done. I think it's just a, a beautiful tradition. Anyway, let me put the lights back up. Right, this is my little cleaning caddy, familiar to many of you. I'll quickly go through what's in it and how I'm, I'm, I'm checking things off in a moment. So, first of all, this is a little cleaning caddy. You do not need the same one as me. <laughs> Maybe you've got a bag or a box that you can use. Uh, this is one from Ikea. It's uh, called, it's from Samla, the, the Samla series. But it's just a, a nice way for me uh, to be able to move my things around. And what I usually do is I, I move it zone by zone. So I, I can use it for my weekly home blessing hour, which I'm, I'm gonna go through today. Or uh, when I'm in the zone, I, I just keep it in the zone. And that way, when I've got a few spare minutes, I can get something done. I don't need to be doing these marathon uh, cleaning sessions. So I'll just quickly go through what's in my cleaning caddy. Obviously, I have some uh, cleaning rags. You, you don't need tons and tons of rags. I've had the same fly lady ones for years and years and years. Um, I've also, this I think was also from the fly shop many years ago, uh, a dusting mitt. Uh, the, the other thing of course that you can use, you, don't, you do not need to buy a dusting mitt. I have some of the families, if I ever find kind of holy socks and things. There we go. Um, I, I, you know, this is a clean one. Uh, just use that for, for uh, dusting off things. You know, you do not need to buy anything. De declutter and uh, use what you have. Uh, I also keep in here, if my husband uh, has a, an old work shirt that's past its best, or we have old t-shirts, I cut those up and use them. Now, those are great for kind of really kind of messy jobs, or, um, you know, if I'm, I'm using some kind of bleach product, that, that way I, I can just um, put them in the bin afterwards. So instead of using one of my um, 
either cleaning clothes and putting it through the wash and I've just got a little uh, rag here and those can go uh, out afterwards. So we're, we're, we're just using what we have. So if you're looking for use for, for those old, uh, uh, old t-shirts and shirts, that's a great use for them. I've got some uh, generic cleaning liquid for doing uh, my windows, for doing my squish squish. And if you're, if you're not sure what, what I'm talking about here, if, if this is all gobbledygook for you, Fly Lady Refresher course videos, they are on a playlist up there. I, I go through what the Fly Lady system is, how to set it up, whether you are working from home, whether you're working outside the home, whether you've got small kids, whether you've got health issues, whether your shifts change from week to week. I, I've gone into all that, I won't go into it here, uh, but just setting up, you know, like your daily focus, how to do that, even if, you know, you're, you work uh, shifts and obviously you can't do the regular Monday kind of thing. Um, also in here, trusty timer, uh, you, you can, of course, when you're doing, you know, cleaning or jobs around the house, you could use the timer on your telephone. But I've told you that uh, I, I prefer to use like a physical timer or on the oven or on the computer or something like that. Because if I use the one on my phone, I know myself, I get sucked into, oh, there's a little notification there. And then, you know, uh, two hours later, I'm, I'm putting things on Pinterest and ordering stuff online. So that, that's why I need, uh, I, I like to have a physical one. You, you do not need to buy anything, remember that. Uh, I've also, this is one of my favorite wee gadgets. It's for cleaning the bits between radiators or getting underneath the bed. Um, you can make one of these yourself, I've told you before. If you've got an old ruler, that's what I used to use of the kids. You know, if they've got a school ruler, uh, you could put an old sock on it and use that. There we are, but I, I like that one. Um, I don't have much product in my little cleaning caddy. And I'll tell you why that is. Um, we really need to get beyond this idea of cleaning equals product. Just throwing a lot of product at objects doesn't make them clean. What's going to get your stuff clean is elbow grease, okay? Um, throwing a lot of chemicals at, you know, into the air and at your furniture, it isn't going to make them clean. Uh, obviously, we, we need some cleaner, but let, let's keep it in balance here. Uh, I, I've got the, this one, which I only really use for dusting um, and shining the, the table in the living room. And it's mainly because I kind of associate it with me living in Scotland in the 1970s and my mum, you know, putting pledge uh, on, on the furniture. So, so that's the only reason I have that there. This is actually a three-in-one multi-surface thing, so I can use it for, for other things. Um, what else do I have in here? I have a few um, small bags just in case I find any recycling or rubbish when I am working in the zone or doing my wheelie to home dressing air. Um, old toothbrush, good for getting into nooks and crannies. Uh, I keep a, a wee notebook and some uh, pens and pencils because sometimes, you know, I, I'm struck with an idea and, and to save me kind of looking for my phone and getting distracted. Um, now, I, I know I, I talked about May the Fourth Be With You, Star Wars Day. Here's one of my pens. This is one, one that's, that used to belong to the kids. Do you see that? Exterminate, exterminate. It's a, it's a Doctor Who one. Uh, my main thing in, in my uh, cleaning caddy that I love are my cordless headphones because I, I use music to motivate you. Maybe you uh, like to listen to an audio book or maybe you're watching my videos. Um, I, I have those. And I've, I've got this uh, little fun uh, list that, which I've also added to my caddy. I'll, I'll show you the one uh, of my, uh, for my kids. I, I, I've talked recently about, you know, especially this time, if you're in lockdown as we are, maybe things are feeling a bit kind of out of whack. You're, you're not quite sure what to do. And some days I had a case of the blast last week. Uh, no particular reason. I was just feeling kind of a bit down. And I've learned over the years just to really lean into, you know, the self-preservation thing. Be nice to myself, not to expect too much of myself. Just put one foot in front of the other. And if, if you're having um, times like that, that's why it's so important to have these things written down. Now, I've gone through... <laughs> how many times have we done this? Uh, I've, I've gone through how to make up a control journal. 
I, you know, most of these things you can probably remember and you can do it off by heart. But when you have a difficult time, when it's when you're on lockdown, something like that, it's really nice just to be able to, you know, when you're in that kind of uh, fog, you, you know, where, where you can't really see where to go, just open up your, your control journal and, or your house management binder, whatever you want to call it. Okay, where, where are we? What, what, what shall I do? And it just gives you that that feeling of being uh, in control again and give you a wee bit of choice. Now, I'll, I'll show you. I was talking um, on Friday, you know, where we're doing this, making the most of me uh, project, me, me and uh, my friend Steph, the secret slob. And I told you, I'm, I'm kind of delving more into um, the, one of my things is being creative. Not You're, you're not going to be see, seeing me taking up crochet. Though I, I, I used to paint a lot. Some of the paintings that you see in the living room, and the croquis uh, life drawings in our guest bedroom. I did those many years ago. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to be taking up crochet, so uh, no videos about crochet coming. Uh, but I like to be creative uh, of, of, of making um, art stuff on, on the computer. Anyway, uh, so th there'll, be, there'll be things coming up. Anyway, here's, um, I'll show you what my weekly home blessing thing was. Remember, you know, I would be uh, checking off just with... Um, Putting it into um, a plastic sheet and just checking it off. But I've been having a wee bit of fun with it. And, and this is the, the new one that I came up with. And, you know, again, I can just check it off. It, it looks a wee bit nicer. And I've I printed it off uh, and, and I've put these things on my blog. I was talking about I've, I've reopened uh, the blog. It's always been there, but I'm, I'm putting new stuff on it now. And you can click on the picture and then print it out. And what I did was I printed it out uh, half size and I had some of these old laminating sheets. I don't have my laminator anymore, but you know, if you put, um, you can actually iron them. If you, if you put your things into a little laminating sheet, uh, put a cloth on the top and then iron it, you can still use them. Anyway, I, I've made up a little kind of uh, cheap sheet for myself to keep, which I'm keeping in my cleaning caddy. And that way, instead of, you know, uh, looking at my control journal, if I've got this, you know, around the house, I can just like, oh, okay, what am I gonna do next? It, it just gives you that uh, a bit more fun element to it. So you can see I've already started mine. If you don't know what the weekly home blessing is, I've got videos about that. You can also see me working along with you. If you, if you want to see me working with you, in the zones, cleaning the living room, uh, cleaning the guest bedroom. It's all on a playlist up there. Uh, I, I can't do so much of that kind of filming right now because the family are here. Uh, but I'll, I'll just quickly go through one that I made for um, my kids. Now, my kids have always had these kind of chore checklists. And remember, if your kids are uh, small, obviously, if they, if they can't read, you can just do it with pictures, you know. Um, if you have, have their little chore chart, you can have like a picture of a teddy bear and that would indicate, oh, you've got to put all your toys away. Um, if, if you put a little picture of a t-shirt or pyjamas and that could be, oh, uh, take your clothes off and put them in the laundry hamper. So, you know, just, just adapt these things to suit you or your family. Um, or maybe you want to have the pictures on it, I don't know. Anyway, this is one uh, that my daughter is using. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, because she's, she's checked everything off, of course, show off. Um, but it's basically the same as my weekly home blessing hour. But uh, the kids, they kind of do like a, a mini weekly home blessing hour in, in their rooms. Uh, so it's just five minutes on each task, because, uh, I mean, it is a, a bedroom. Uh, change sheets. Uh, culled papers and documents, that's any kind of school um, work that she's got, or maybe put um, books back on uh, her, her bookshelf. Uh, dust and uh, hoover or vacuum, that's kind of obvious. Uh, take, she takes out her recycling and her rubbish. Um, she cleans the mirrors, uh, glass doors, windows. Uh, in her wardrobe is mirrored, so um, it's just nice to keep that um, clean. Uh, school bag and sports gear, that's just a wee reminder to clean those out once a week. Um, she goes to martial arts, so she needs to have her, um, her, her gear ready to go. 
Um, and uh, that's something that I had added, cups, dishes and laundry. Because sometimes the kids tend to forget if they've got, um, you know, cups or glasses in there. Especially at the moment they, are, they have been working from home online for school. So uh, just, just to make sure that there are no cups and glasses lying around. Uh, and just also to make sure that there's no laundry lying on the floor. Though of course they would never do that. Anyway, um, so j just a, a, a wee uh, idea for you. J just ma make it make it fun for you to do it. And also, especially right now, if you're if you're just kind of not feeling it, take take your timer, set your timer for five or ten minutes. Just pick something from the list and get going with it, okay? Because it all adds up. So on that note, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? Uh, I'm I'm going to get on with my day. And uh, I'm going to be doing a wee bit for my uh, weekly blessing hour. I'm going to get my headphones on. So all I've got left to say to you is, may the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day. Um, those of you who are in Denmark, maybe you're getting your candles ready to put in the windowsill tonight. And I shall see you uh, later on this week. Not quite sure when I'm going to f be filming. Uh, we'll be taking a wee turn around the garden because that's one of my areas that I'm going to be working on in the merry month of May. And also how to make sure that this Making the Most of May project works for you. Okay, because we've all got these great ideas, but how are we actually going to put that into practice? So on that note, rap, 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 and I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.